For a laboratory transitioning to CAD CAM production, one of the most important decisions to be made is the purchase of a milling system. Today's dental milling machines boast models of four and five axes, with five axis models extending the capabilities of their four axis counterparts. Each model begins with three linear axes to create the work cube, a horizontal axis, a depth axis, and a vertical axis labelled X, Y and Z. The addition of a rotational axis labelled A allows the milling disc to be flipped so the underside of the prosthesis can be sculpted. This is a four axis system. Most organic shapes encountered in the lab like crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays and copings can be successfully milled with four axes. A select few shapes cannot be milled with a four axis configuration. Consider, for example, a bar for an overdenture, whose screw axis holes lie at divergent angles, or the incredible organic complexity of a mesh frame for a partial. For these cases, a second rotational axis orientates the component in a way that allows the tooltip access to the difficult to reach areas. This is a five axis setup. Further advantages of a fifth axis, like speed, are often negated by the intricacy of organic shapes. No matter the number of axes, a milling machine must make multiple passes to create nature's structures. And because the five-axis system is more sophisticated, software controlling the system and methods to calibrate the system are equally more sophisticated and more expensive. These expenses add up, and only labs that manufacture a significant number of partials or restorations with many screw axis holes will see a return on that additional investment. For most laboratories, the 4-axis machine can be purchased with confidence. With quality software that properly orients the digital prosthesis to the milling machine, a 4-axis machine will manufacture high-quality prostheses for lower upfront and continuing costs than a 5-axis mill.